Welcome to Lola Lee Chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Blueface sister Callie is letting it be known that she's a lover and she didn't join baddies to be known as a heavy hitter. And it seems that that is what she's being known for right now. Check this out. Okay, so I did want to say something. I did want to come on here and just like shed some light. You feel me? I do not represent and fighting and who's the boo, -boo you know what I'm saying? Who about to knock a nigga head off or nothing? You feel me? That's not my vibe. My vibe is love, peace. You feel me? Let's have fun. Let's get a drink. Let's go out. Let's turn up. That's a true baddie to me. And I feel like if you could protect yourself, see, you feel me? You win some, you lose some. It's not about being a heavy hitter. I didn't come here to be a boxer. Otherwise, I would have signed up for MMA fighting. I signed up to be a baddie. Bitch. I did not audition. I, you know what I mean? I was invited. And I came out. I showed out. And I just remained myself. Remain humble and remain who the fuck Kathy was. I didn't let no cameras dictate how I'm going to act or none of that. So if you want to be the heavy hitter, if you if you think you big dog, big, big, uh, you is, baby, and I'm going to let you have it because I want to represent, when you see Kelly, I want to represent love and peace. You feel me? I know everybody's running up to me like, oh, did you whoop that girl? Ooh, I did. And, and her son is so cute, though. Kelly is so beautiful. So this is a great message that she is all about peace and love. But sadly, being a heavy hitter is what Callie is going to be known for unless she decides to show us that she's not just a heavy hitter. I believe that actions speak louder than words. And Callie may be speaking on something else too. She has publicly defended this lady right here for using the N-word. Callie said that the lady can use it because her grandfather's black. But didn't Woe Vicky say something similar that her grandfather was black and that she could use the N-word? And then we all found out that was all BS. But I had a feeling that this was all BS too, that she could use the N-word because her grandfather is black. Is y'all look honest? She's Dominican Republic. Y'all let Biggie say it. She's the Negro Republic from the island. She's from Puerto Rico. She's from the island. Her granddaddy is black. Literally, pictures with her granddaddy black. So, her kid black, she black. Just because she's fair skinned, y'all trying to. Don't do my bit. What was I saying? Basically, long story short, I'm not handing out. Like, if you're not black, you cannot. So, yes, I would be offended too if you were not black. And you're saying, I'm offended too. The Gretchen is black, so get off her day. Anyway, Jayla tweeted Gretchen's mugshot. And the mugshot shows that she identifies as white. She does not identify as black. Hmm. So here you are identifying as white, but saying the N-word so proudly. Interesting. And Jayla had a little bit more to say. She said, well, 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 all of you blanks owe me an apology. She's black. She can say the N-word. She's Puerto Rican. Her ancestors are black. All of this and the blank claims her white privilege. I hate y'all sometimes. And 2.3 million people have seen this. So hopefully Callie has seen this as well. If you're not black, you cannot stop me too. The Russian is black, so get off her day. Anyway, let me make something very clear. I don't think that anybody should say the N-word. I don't use the N-word. My family doesn't use the N-word. My friends do not use the N-word. That is my personal choice. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.